And the winter season is kind of like our spring season. It's been up and down and up and down. Look at the trend uh, starting back on Sunday when we almost hit 80 degrees here in Milwaukee, 75 on Monday, and then the cold front came through. Uh, yesterday, 51 degrees. Today, it was right around 50. And now we're going back up and slowly going back up with 68 on Thursday by Saturday, 67 degrees. And we're going to see that uh, rise in temperatures right on into the Memorial Day rest of the weekend into Monday. We might even see 70s on Memorial Day. Now, here's some good news. Even though we're suffering with some cool air, uh, the 6 to 10 day outlook, which takes us pretty much to the end of the month, is predicted to see those above normal temperatures in the eastern part of the United States. So it looks like we could actually end the month on a very mild note. Uh, morning lows this morning were chilly. 30 in Sheboygan, 33 in Fond du Lac. They did have some patchy frost in our northern counties 34 port washington and also in west bend 34 in waukesha with 37 degrees in milwaukee and 37 in racine uh, last night we had this battle of clouds versus clear skies but if you were under the clear skies you had a frosty morning high temperatures today across the area one more day of very cool temperatures and the cool air extending all the way out in the western part of the state 52 in madison that is your high and where it was raining 46 in platte We'll look at Cedar Rapids at 49, only 48 in Chicago, 50 here in Milwaukee. It was actually warmer in Superior where they had some sunshine and 66 degrees. Temperatures right now, 48 in Waukesha. So if you're going out in the evening hours, your temperatures are going to remain on the cool side. 45 in Port Washington, 52 in West Bend and Sheboygan, 55 in Whitewater. Overnight low temperatures will be chilly once again with about 43 degrees in Milwaukee and Racine, 40 in Waukesha. Waukesha 39 in West Bend, 38 Watertown Beaver Dam, and also in Fond du Lac. Had a couple of showers around through the evening hours, but they pushed out of the area early in the evening. But behind it, there's still lots of cloudiness. Some of those clouds starting to break up, though. We should see some clearing later on tonight, and that clearing will stick around right on into the morning hours. Our computer model shows the sky starting to break up overnight tonight, and the showers moving east with that low pressure system. Watch this front rolling at us for tomorrow, and by late in the day tomorrow, we're going to see that front pushing through, and that could touch off a few widely scattered showers around here, mainly in the evening hours uh, during the day tomorrow as the low pressure starts to push in for the rest of the weekend. For tonight, Incre uh, decreasing clouds, I should say, 38 inland, 43 in the city for tomorrow. We'll see lots of sunshine, 68 degrees, warmer temperatures, 72 inland. And into Friday, we get sunny again, but those temperatures go back down to 58 degrees. Your Storm Team 4 seven-day forecast for the weekend. Saturday, nice day, 67 showers, maybe a thunderstorm's return. On Sunday, 66 for Memorial Day, Monday, Still a chance of a shower 71. We stay in the 70s most of next week.